What's up guys? It's your favorite fellow Earthling here, Austin Hustler Hires. And today we're going to be talking about eight things that will help you stand out and be better than the competition. So without further ado, let's get into it. But of course, before I forget, the winner of this week's prize, which is this $2 bill, I'm going to be putting right here. That's the winner of this week's prize. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel, constantly watching, hitting the like button, and staying subscribed. Let's go ahead and learn these eight things that will help you stand out and be better than your competition. So I'd like to start this video by saying all of these tips can help you in any of the service industries out there. So it's not just junk removal, not just dumpster rental, but this is all service industries, whether you're in window cleaning, uh, house cleaning, pressure washing, um, lawn services. There are so many services out there that this can help. So this is not just for the junk removal industry, it is for business in general, and it's gonna help you stand out and be better than your competition. Okay, so today the first thing I wanna share with you guys is to make sure that you answer your phones quickly. And what I mean by this is you need to answer your phones within the first two rings, within the first couple of seconds of its ring. And if you're working out in the field, I know this can be difficult, but you need to stop what you're doing, whip that phone out, and answer really quickly, just like this. Thank you for calling that a go. How may I help you? So answering your phones on the first couple of rings is really gonna help you stand out from the other guys that are literally answering the phone last minute or fumbling to get their phone out and then they miss the call and they have to call the customer back. Now, by the time you miss that call and call the customer back, they may have already called another company and scheduled a job. Or maybe they're on the phone with another company and now they're gonna miss your call because they're talking to someone else setting up another job. So that is super important. That's the first tip of the day I have for you to help yourself stand out from all of the other businesses out there. And like I said, this is not just for junk removal or dumpster rental, this is for any service business. Make sure you answer your phone. It's gonna help you stand out. Also, when you answer that phone, make sure you have some kind of um, structure to your call. Basically, every time I answer the phone, it's, thank you for choosing, let it go, how may I help you? Super quick, super easy, get straight to the point. Now they can let me know, hey, I need junk, junk removal or, or dumpster rental because that's the service that I offer. And uh, you have to be basically be consistent with how you're answering the phone. That way, if the same person calls you back a week from now, it's the same way you're answering. And now if you're hiring people to answer the phone, you wanna train them to say the same exact thing that you've said when you're answering the phone. A lot of times my wife will say, thank you for choosing to let it go. This is Kelsey, how may I help you? You could throw your name out there to make it more personable. I like to just say, thank you for choosing to let it go. How may I help you? Um, that's just what I've developed and what I do and it works just fine. But just make sure you're consistent and uh, answering the phone professionally. On to tip number two to help you stand out. Tip number two. So this is another easy tip, guys, that you should already know and you should already be doing. But if you're just getting started out, maybe it's not something that retains to you. Okay, so tip number two, what you wanna do is make sure that you, you show up on time to these jobs. If you tell the person a time, you need to be there at that time. And a way that helps me and my crew show up on time every time is to give them a two hour window. So in my business, we do between eight and 10, between 10 and 12, between 12 and two, and between two and four. So those are our four slots that we have available. Now, since we have two trucks, we can double book those slots if need be. Now, when you're doing these slots, you have this two hour window to show up. And I always tell the customer, we do our best to show up between the, you know, eight, say it's between eight and 10. I tell them we're gonna do our best to show up around eight o'clock. We give that two hour window just a case of emergency or in case the job that is before them takes a little bit longer. So this is a way that you can help your company always show up on time. Give them a time slot. It doesn't have to be two hours. It doesn't have to be one hour, whatever you think you can make it in. I made my time slots two hours apart because we service a large area and we need to make sure that we have time to um, account for traffic or any accidents or just a job taking longer than expected. This is something that's really gonna help you guys stand out. There's a bunch of mosquitoes around here, sorry. <laughs> so 
and and showing up on time and being ready being ready meaning you're there with the with the truck to do the job you're ready to do the job right then and there you have your shovel you have your trash can your trash bags your dolly you have your broom and you want to make sure that you're showing up with all of this stuff ready to the ready to do the job so just make sure you have everything make sure when you get to the make sure when you're about to leave your office in the morning that you have everything in the truck you need double truck double check your truck every morning so that you know you're showing up on time and then you're showing up ready because it is really unprofessional looking and really bad looking on you and your company when you show up on time but then you don't have the tools to get whatever job it is done if you, if you know you're doing a shed removal that day, you need to make sure you're carrying a skill saw or a sawzall, something like that to get it cut up, maybe a screw gun. Whatever you think you need, just make sure you have it so the customer can see you have everything you need. It would, it would, I hate it. I really hate it when I show up to a customer's job and I have to use their wheelbarrow or their dolly or their saw to get something done and, and it's happened to me before. This is a mistake that I've made, so that's why I'm sharing it with you. Show up on time and be ready. That's the tip number two I have for you to stand out from your competition today. Let's move on to number three. Hey, what's up guys? So while I'm repositioning this camera, go ahead and hit that like button for me guys. Uh, in the last video, we got over 66 likes, which is pretty awesome. And I'd like to get this video up over 100 likes if you enjoy the information that I give out to help you stand out. Um, in the service industry and just be better than your competition go ahead and just hit that like button if you're not subscribed go down there and subscribe leave a comment guys and uh, we'll talk to you soon okay so number three is to make sure that you show up looking professional you show up looking clean clean cut clean clothes you show up looking good all right you want your business to look good you want your truck to look good you want your helpers to look good it doesn't just have to be you it needs to be all of you your whole business everything about it needs to look good if you show up with this ratty looking truck with dirt and mud all over it you show up with holes in your pants for example let me just show you right now would you rather someone show up with a nice collared shirt a nice hat and a pair of long pants with some boots a nice truck ready to go or would you rather this or would you rather someone show up like this? Yo, what up, man? What kind of junk you got for me to remove today? I can get anything out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? This just looks so much more unprofessional. You wanna show up looking professional, looking the part. Your whole business needs to look good. Just like this, guys, okay? So that is my third tip for you. Make sure you show up looking good, smelling good, and being amazing. Let's move on to tip number four. Number four for the day, we're gonna talk about, what are we gonna talk about? Oh yeah, <laughs> we're gonna talk about knowing your stuff, guys, and having structured pricing. So when you show up to a job, whether it's junk removal, dumpster rental, or any other service out there, you need to know your stuff. When the customer asks you a question, you need to be able to answer that question right away. As soon as they ask it, you have the answer that they want to hear. And as soon as they ask, how much does this cost? You need to be able to have a structured pricing that you can give a customer every single time. Literally every single time you show up, you can give this same type of structure. Now I've developed a structure for my junk removal business and basically it goes in stages and we have four different stages. So if we, if we show up to a junk removal, right? And it's all piled right there in the driveway, we can back up to it and we can, and we can load it in the truck and, and haul it away. That's gonna be stage one. And we're gonna use our stage one structured pricing for that. Now, if we have the stage two would be basically if we have to go in the house and it's mostly all large furniture and we have to get it from you know the living room and this room and that room and it's mostly large furniture like I said not small stuff we're gonna have a structured pricing for that stage two 
and it's going to be a set price because we know that that is what we want to charge if we go in and we're doing a little bit more walking around, a little bit more angling to get out the doors, stuff like that. Then we have structure number three, stage three. And this is new, I just developed this guy so my, my guys out there can kind of think in their head, is this a stage one, is this a stage two, stage three, stage four kind of job. Now, so stage three is basically you go in the house and you have to clear out not only large furniture, but all the drawers, all the cabinets and everything that's inside of the house. Um, it's more than stage two basically, not just large stuff, but small stuff we have a stage three pricing for that because the small stuff you have to bag up or put in a trash can and haul that out. So it's a little bit more work than stage two and that's how we're structuring it. Now stage four is basically stage three but also outside in the backyard, in the front yard and you have to walk you know, 100 feet to get to the, to the truck because we can't back right up to it. So stage four is also a, 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 a higher price because we not only have to clear out the inside of the house but the whole outside of the house and so basically each stage has a set price per truckload and now my guys know okay this looks like a stage two so this is going to be the price for this type of job and uh, and it's really been helping us out to kind of figure out how to price everything because I've never seen any kind of structure like I've developed and I'm giving this secret to you guys so that you can use this in your business whether it is junk removal or dumpster rental or or window cleaning you probably have your structures so make sure that not only do you know your stuff you know what you're talking about but also you have your pricing set so when they ask you can give them those set prices right away and your customer is going to be super happy and super proud of the work that you've done to uh, give them the estimate and they're probably going to end up going with you so that being said, let's move on to number five. All right, so let's talk about number five, the fifth thing you can do to stand out and be better than your competition. And what that is, is work hard and go above and beyond. Go above and beyond the call of duty, guys. My company does this all the time, and we make sure that we do this so that we can show the customers we're better than every other company out there. So one thing we do at the end of every job, whether it's a garage clean out, a shed clean out, a storage unit clean out, or a house clean out, we have a broom and a dustpan and we always sweep up. Whether it's carpet, tile, wood, or just concrete, we're always sweeping up after the job to make sure that it looks super clean and super tidy. And that is going above and beyond, guys. So not only do you wanna show up and do your best, and work your hardest, right? You don't wanna try. You wanna do your best every single time you show up. And then, when you're done doing your best, go above and beyond. Do more. Show the customer that you're willing to earn their business again and again and again. And I promise you guys, if you do this, you go above and beyond, not just maybe sweeping floors. Maybe the customer needs a door taken off. Maybe the customer needs a door put on. Maybe the customer needs a, um, a referral for paint or lawn mowing or cleaning services. Give them those referrals. Come ready with some cards of referrals of people that you trust to refer, obviously. You don't want to refer somebody that's not going to give your customer the, the same customer service that you would because then that's going to look bad on you. Make sure you have good referrals and when they ask for them, you send them to them, all right? So that's really gonna help you guys uh, stand out from your competition and be the best out there. Let's move on to number six. Number six is super easy, guys, and I tell you about this all the time on my channel. So what you wanna do is basically, after you're done doing the job, going above and beyond and treating the customer the best that they've ever been treated, you go ahead and ask them for that five-star review, all right? So you wanna make sure that they give you that five star review by having your link ready to send them through text message or email. And you can even help them open that link up and show them how to leave that five star review. That's gonna help you stand out from the, other, from the other guys, from your competition, because not only are you asking for the five star review, but most of the time if you help them 
leave the five star review, you're going to get that. And then that means you're going to have more five star reviews than your other competition because they're probably not going to be doing this unless they're watching my video. And if you are, I'm just helping you become a better company because I myself hate when a service comes out and they don't have the same customer service that I do. So this is for all of those customer service people out there to make sure that you do your best so when you're done serving your customer you can ask them you can ask them legitimately to leave you a five star review and most of the time if you help them through the process by sending them a link they're going to leave that five stars for you on to number seven okay so number seven may be the most important thing to help you stand out and be better than your competition this is something that I really took a while to figure out and I wish I would have figured out a little bit earlier because it would have made things a lot easier and a lot more efficient right away, right off the bat. So this is getting yourself a professional job tracking system which tracks all of your clients, all of your jobs, it tracks all of your payments and it tracks all of the uh, employees calls. It tracks basically everything that you do in your business. Now for this, some of you may already know, I use WorkEase, and if you're interested after this video, go ahead and check out WorkEase down below. You get 14 days for free using my link, and then you get, for the first three months, you get $25 off for the first three months, which is very, very affordable. So anyways, you guys wanna make sure that you get yourself a job tracking system. Whether it's WorkEase or another system, I don't really care which one you get, but it is very important to have in your business a professional looking system because this way you can pull out your phone or your tablet in front of the customer and everything's right there. Not only all of their information, not only all the jobs that they've ever done with you, all the invoices you've ever charged them are all right there, but also you can take pictures and upload them. You can send them emails and you can do so much more with this app than I even use it for. It is an amazing app guys and like I said whether you're using WorkEase or getting another one make sure you get something that's professional and that you can show your customers you know hey look here's your invoice go ahead and sign here take payment here whether it's cash check or card you can take payment through there it gives you something to show the customer that you are professional and that you are moving forward in whatever service industry you're in and it just helps them to realize you're not just a guy with a truck and a trailer. You're a real legit business. So this is definitely something you wanna get. After you get the service software, whether it's WorkEase or another one, you wanna take the time to learn it because sometimes it can be confusing up front. Even with the 14 days for free WorkEase gives you, you're not gonna learn everything that it has to offer within that 14 days. But you have to take the time to sit there and learn how it works and how to set everything up. Even though WorkEase makes it super easy, I would say the easiest system to use that I have that I have, you know, experienced so far because I haven't used all the systems out there guys, so I can only speak for the ones that I've used and WorkEase is the best out of those. Uh, it is super easy to learn, but you have to take the time to learn it so that when you're out in the field, you're not like clicking around and and fumbling around in front of the customer and they're like oh this guy doesn't even know how to use his own system so this is super important to uh, grow and scale your business and on top of that that's what's going to help you stand out from the guys with just a truck and a trailer going out there with their stuff on a calendar or a piece of paper you're going to be able to invoice the customer right there you're going to be able to take payment you're going to be able to take uh, their signature right there and when they sign your invoice you can have a document attached to the invoice stating all of your rules, stating all of your extra fees, stating how your business works. So they sign that. And now you have legal document showing that they signed all of your rules and all your stipulations for how your business works. It's super important. And if you guys wanna check out WorkEase, like I said, I got a link down below. It's gonna save you some money. Go ahead and uh, try it out for 14 days for free. It won't hurt you. And let's move on to the last and most important thing of standing out and being the best. So all of these tips that I'm sharing with you today to stand out and be better than the competition in your area are very important. 
but there's one most important thing and I saved it for last that's going to help amplify all of the things I've already stated in this video. So number eight is being positive, guys. Being positive out there, having a positive attitude, a do my best attitude instead of a try attitude. Replace every day, replace the word try with do my best. And if you catch yourself saying try, go back and say do my best. Use the same sentence and say do my best. I promise you it's going to help change the way you think to be a more positive person out there. And if you add positivity to everything else that you've learned in this video today, I promise you are going to stand out and you're going to be better than the competition. So I hope that you guys uh, learned a lot from this video today. I had a uh, good time planning and filming this video. So I'm about to, uh, you know, obviously go ahead and edit it. If you guys like the information in this video, make sure to give me a good thumbs up down below and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. I have a lot of informational, inspirational, motivational videos coming out this year and they're not all going to be about junk removal, a dumpster rental, or even the service industry. I like to make videos about my life even, just doing vlogs. So if you guys like this type of stuff, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to me. You like every single video that you watch and I'll keep putting out awesome videos for you to see. Until next time, I'm out of here.